<laughs> Comrade. Hello. Guess what? I'm in the Arturian group. And some young woman, she asked a question about something and I get into the flash. I sent her message saying, you can use a remedy to answer that question. She goes, I don't have laptop. I say, I will answer it for you. So she asks, how can I get my clear audience going? I pop that in and we get respect, gifting and fact. We have a little chat. She says she has no one to talk with. Anyway, she loves it. She loves it. Just one little instance of the remedy. Very nice. <laughs> so can we somehow move from pencil in seven point font <laughs> in single pages to an actual paragraph written digitally that's concise and says exactly what it is. Oh man, that's not how I work. <laughs> I think at the end of it, I was going, wait, is this just all this just to say this? <laughs> he could have just said this. Yeah, I don't even know if he could read the first page. It got eaten by my printer. It was the rip and the thing and the. <laughs> yeah. Just thinking, holy cow. What's going on with the new Paradigm Toolkit? <laughs> but I, I think what I, okay, tell me in concise words what it was. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing, the chat room that we worked on, I proposed some changes to the visual layout. That was what the first page was about. Okay. So then, I think uh, just, and we can get back to the way it was and expand on it and you know connect it with choose a remedy and everything else but i think for now our best bet is just to to make something specific for uh for Luciel and and what we're trying to do there okay so, so i just you, i just sent you a picture right now of uh of what we had or what we have okay and i'll just walk you through the changes i'm i'm uh suggesting can you just can you um can i make you a host and you can share it up here oh yeah okay let's do that okay so these are upgrades to the uh the first one we did yeah okay Got a little cold in my area. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. And you look uh, like you've uh, started to turn into your mortal self. True. <laughs> okay, that is not the right screen. Hold on. Hmm. What happened here? Okay, can you see the chat room now? Uh, nope. Okay, hold on. Shit. How about now? That's a great looking chat room, man. Yeah. Oh, you want to take my buttons out? So what I want to do is replace these social fields, or these fields and these spaces with actual profile pictures of the people in the chat. Okay. And th this is just for Luciel and for what I'm talking about here. Um, change the old growth forest defense coalition show to whatever group the per people are talking in. So example, seeding global communities. Okay. Um, maybe put the Lysiel logo up on the top, just above the group. Okay. Um, keep the three cards, obviously. Okay. Uh, keep the mission step and the objective on the right. Keep all that. And then <clears throat> for the points over here, just go with personal points and group points. Uh, and then add one more different looking thing that has uh, the number of supports you have. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and why, why not community points? Uh, because we, because that doesn't matter during the chat. 
and also I'm trying to save space. So no, like I, when it I goes think, like this. Oh, okay. Um, you know. Okay. So this this is good. It looks good like so, this. So if if the people, what I like about the people thing is if you had all 12 people, but you didn't have, like you sign up for it, they're all 12 get, get in there. And then when you when you're in there, it highlights and the other others dim. I mean, it only becomes sort of a, like there's there's a difference between people that are in and people that are not in the chat. So you can see. Yeah, yeah. So if they didn't show up, then they're grayed out. The profile yeah. picture's still there, but it's grayed out. And then yeah. yeah, and then also when people are typing a message and stuff like that, their their thing can flash, you know, it's stuff like that, people like. Okay, well, but okay, how about this? Mm -hmm. Instead, whatever, because are we still having the mechanism to choose social one of the fields and one of the, the, the spaces? Um, not on this screen. But on, so, let's say another screen. Let's yeah, say the other screen there. they choose. And then at the very top, like let's say this is a business field and, uh, and a group space, that would be at the top. I'm thinking no. <laughs> I'm thinking because um, I, I like I did a whole imagination thing of how we could use this, and uh, <laughs> let, just let me walk you through the idea first. Uh, <clears throat> so <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking no. I went into my imagination space and came up with no. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So far, <clears throat> okay. So, tell me what you got. So up in the top right, we got the objective, whatever the objective is going to be for that mission step. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to have personal points, group points, and something called reports, or sorry, supports. Yeah. That will look different. Everyone starts with, say, five supports, something like that. Uh, then when people post messages or links or whatever, <clears throat> there's going to be a support button on the far right. Okay. So they can use one of their, their supports to support a message. Okay. Um, and it doesn't... You know, it doesn't show to the other people when things get supported uh, initially, and nothing nothing else happens. They lose the support, and that, that person sees that they supported it. But unless <laughs> two or three other people, unless like a critical mass of the people in the group also support the same message, that person gets a few points. But if say four out of twelve support that same message, then it gets a bunch of points. It gets it's obvious that it gets supported and actually gets locked locked down at the bottom of the chat so that the you know the most popular and like useful things get end up getting locked down at the bottom so let's say if i support something i get a personal point and group point if it gets supported uh yeah if you support something the person that that wrote the message automatically gets like five points or something yeah uh, but unless other people support it you the person who supported the thought doesn't necessarily get anything right but i just i didn't know if you said that so if i support it and it goes ahead i get personal points and group points yeah yeah the group points okay so the group points add up every time someone posts a message and the supports add a whole bunch of points okay uh so you can see them both going up well and, and i guess i guess that's what we got to come up with what gets points and what doesn't kind of thing yeah, yeah okay i like that um Okay. Uh, so, okay. And there'd be a time limit. So, I mean, you can't support a message that was posted five minutes ago and like go all the way scrolling up to support something. It's like some sort of time limit, maybe 90 seconds. Oh, really? Yeah. So, you know, people, because people are talking, there's maybe 12 people in here. The messages are going to keep going. Right. Uh, yeah. So the idea is that right at the bottom of the screen, just above the post, uh, post area here, there'd be a small rectangle on the bottom of the chat where these locked messages would go you could scroll through those as well and then the met all the continuous messages would be just above that and you could also scroll through that oh, okay wait I, i'm seeing some okay so let's say we go social field and group space how about on the banner above old growth forest right up there because that's the big framing i don't that's not coming out mr get it done <laughs> I know, I know. I'm trying to take that out at the moment <laughs> because because what I'm, what I'm talking about here is like 
Okay, so part of the proposal here is that we make this specific chat room technology so that uh, over seven weeks, each of the groups uses this technology once a week for one hour, and they go through all seven mission steps. Nice. But all of that is is group space for sure because it's the yeah. group. Yeah. And I, I don't think the fields need to come into play there because they're not a family. It's not oh, necessarily. Okay. But I think like my rationale is okay. You've created a, a huge system of stuff that we need to create, and it's all awesome. But for this specialized purpose, I think we should just boil it down to some of this. And there's two there's two benefits to that. One, it's more streamlined for what they're going to be using. Yeah. And two, it's easy for us to expand on this and also produce stuff that's even better outside of LaCiel and in, in the greater scheme of things. Well, I mean, the agreement we make with LaCiel is it, this is not we're testing just like the other guys will they can test it, but they're not going to own it. And we yes. can we can change LaCiel to somebody else and do it with somebody else. Right. Yeah. So I, I think I think that'll be fine. They'll they'll be fine with that. Yeah. Okay, but okay, but is there because I guess what what I'm thinking is the the step where you, in in this LCL situation you're right, and the only real difference I see, which is a huge difference, is when they move from the service field into the business field. When the team decides, okay, we're taking this idea now, we're talking business. We're not because everyone there is on their own time, and everyone you know the sixty dollars is just. It isn't, I mean, it's not necessarily a business transaction. It's just paying for cost in a sense. I think like most people are there for service. Mm -hmm. So I can see in this situation, yeah, it wouldn't matter, but I would definitely, when we are going to use this somewhere else, want to have this stuff as the larger framework. Yes, definitely. And so you're just saying we can add it later, no big, dig no big deal, but let's not do it for now because it's going to complicate matters. Because they're, yes. they, the, the thing is about LCL is they know these spaces, right? They, they're going to know these models by the maps that they're using from me. Mm -hmm. So just, just so you know that the, the five spaces that, I mean, you've seen, they already done it. Yeah. I mean, uh, for that, you can tell them, you know, this is a piece of it. This is a piece of my huge puzzle and <laughs> being specifically okay. designed I, for the purpose. Okay. I don't feel the need to, um, I like the simplicity too. I like it to be as simple as possible. Um, and I like the idea of the, the people's faces. I think that's what's missing. In a sense, you see the whole team and then you see who's there. I like that. I love the support things. I think that's that's innovative, that's different. Um, and you're adding something else before I interrupted? Um, so let's just, let me look at my notes real quick. Yeah, so I guess the idea, like I said, that there, you could introduce this as a tool that that you suggest that they use, that all the groups will use over a seven week period. Uh, each one of the weeks they do the mission, one mission step, so they, you know, the, with the start and so on. And then so the, and the idea with that would be that, because like, yeah, let's see all uh, the groups, maybe up until this year, haven't really done much. They're just kind of a lot of talking and interesting, but you know, no, no real projects necessarily came out of it. With this, the first two to three, or first, first three mission steps would be all about discussion and and formulating what they want to do as a group. Then mission four, four, uh, would be specifically one hour to just define exactly what they're trying to do, so it's well defined, so they can go from there with you know, and actually okay. do it. And then the last three steps, five, six, and seven would be, okay, how are we going to do this? And then by the time they get to the seventh, they know what they're going to do. They've got a plan set out and we can kind of, um, and, and that, that brought me to the imagination or whatever that, uh, okay, well, what are they, they're going to need something after this, after these seven mission steps are done and they've, they've thought about it, they've, they've defined it, they've worked it out. Now this chat room disappears and they're expected to just do it again, but no, they're going to need. They're going to need a bit of a system as well to continue with the next. And uh, that's when we introduce the, the larger set of chat rooms. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And maybe more than that too. So we can, people can be assigned roles. Uh, they're, you know, 
Well, they're going to get the synergy wheel. Like they're going to get the synergy wheel at the beginning. So if we put this as an addition to the group, like the second three months, and we get their buy-in, then we can, you know, the seven weeks will be part of their, the other seven weeks because they they've got their own thing they're doing, but they part of it is the connection with the synergy wheel. And that's where the real roles are, like who's the researcher, who's the entrepreneur, okay. who's, who's the teacher. Okay, so yeah, maybe during the seven weeks as well, one of the steps concentrates on who's going to be what role, maybe step three. Yeah, I'm and, just saying and, that we can we can vertically correspond it to the other, in the other modules that they're, they're we're planning. Like we're in the design of that right now. Nice. Like right. Well, now. Then, well, then what we should do beyond this chat room is to create a bit of a system so that you know you can assign these these 12 profile pictures onto that synergy wheel for example and then yeah. also keep track of tasks and progress and blah 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 all that kind of stuff that'd be awesome because then they move right out of this chat room uh and they still have the full chat room so to keep discussing and, and etc uh but they also have the system that's okay yeah they can go and look oh yeah right janet's on this role and, and mark is the researcher and and he's responsible for this and oh we have you know 70 five percent progress in this area and, and this task is complete or whatever right that kind of thing yeah. so that they can roll out their projects using a system instead of just talking once a week and then people going home and doing their part and then coming next week oh shit i forgot to do that and like, oh i didn't really understand you or whatever yeah and oh i didn't know that was my role so yeah <laughs> for sure for sure no i think it's fantastic because they've you know they, they've got the teaching side of it and it's definitely lacking infotech communication you know um versatility um yeah that's what we're adding in yeah and i think also to uh, yeah like after we talked quickly about the marginal collective and i took a look at that again and i think yeah if we focus on a different aspect so they they're really focusing on um you know kind of building a community a sense of community and uh, a shared space where people can find each other and kind of and talk to each other and there's they're they are trying to get people to use their discussion platform. So I think if we just kind of move away from that a little bit, like do this, the seven week thing, but then maybe even encourage people to, to continue to discuss stuff on, on that platform. Well, I, I, I use other tools to organize. Agreed. I, I would suggest that we figure, I mean, this should be able to embed in websites and other places. So I think we should actually look on their, their platform see where we like you could add chat room button here put these things here and then we can just embed it within their whole program right yep and then still have it so we can have our own on the outside or other people but i think that's what we got to learn to do is to you know create this whole idea and have it so we can just pop it in and integrate exactly. with their infotech right so that just creates yeah. a good partnership yeah yeah, and and they, we get free testing, and we can say, okay, that works, and take it out of here. Boom! Now we approach this organization, that company, blah blah blah. Maybe yeah. tailor it a little bit for this, tailor it a little bit for that, and actually sell it. For sure. I mean, LCL has the same idea. I think Imaginal Collective has the same idea. So we're all on the same page. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think we'll uh, everyone will be open to it as long as it's just functional, right? It just has to work. If it works, you know, why would anyone say no? Yeah. So. That brings me to page three, okay. <laughs> where really all I was, this one I could probably could have boiled down into a paragraph or two. So basically what I'm saying is that uh, I think we should we should do what we're talking about here, have it ready in time for, uh, like it, have the basic one ready for, uh, you know, our synergy team and whoever else you can gather to just test it behind the scenes together. Yep. And that we can use the actual system here to not only test the technology but use the seven mission steps or at least a few of them to to discuss like in the chat room about the chat room yeah and then so after each mission step or little meeting is finished i can go make a few changes or whatever that we need polish it and then by the time uh we're, we're done testing it, it's all going to work it's going to look good um and then it's kind of pre-tested before let's see I'll, takes it out for a spin okay no definitely agree and all uh, all arrange the testing side get the people uh you you tell me the timeline of it um up to you on terms of the timing if you can pop it out that's great let's do it okay and then yeah i think we just need to plan to have it uh finished polished and tested 
uh, in time for you to be able to introduce it to Lucielle, uh, them have time to think about it a little bit and still have time for, for them to implement it at the start of the, the second. Yeah, and that's what I'll, I'll send them a message uh, and maybe chat about it with it this week a bit. Um, I think the way we're doing it, because timing, you know, you're the one who's got, you know, most of the timing issues. Um, you, you know, if it isn't ready, we can still pop it in, but just a little bit later, right? Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out like, because um, I you know, when does the second three month thing start? I'm trying to figure that out in two months or? Well, how many, how many, we're in week four? Yeah, so in two months. So yeah, I think we can do that. So if we can have it finished, tested and polished by our people within say one month or six weeks at the most, That'll give the that'll give you two to four weeks to, to sell it to get it you know in their system whatever else yeah. for them to to have it prepared in a course. Well, it kind of means that you got to if we're actually going to do if we want to finish the seven week thing before they start it, you're going to have to get the working prototype up in a week. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I will, um, and sure. also our our team doesn't necessarily have to go through all seven steps True. because they're they're at the moment at least the steps aren't like there aren't actually any different at the moment. Okay. We can tailor that later so that when, when you move into mission step two, some other buttons come up or some other functionality maybe, but for now, I, I don't think it's necessary. So yeah, yeah get one, then it's good for them all. Yeah, for now that I think that's fine. And the cards will change, uh, you know, each mission step, different cards, I would imagine. Well, that's, yeah, that's the, I guess we either, randomly do it or have this the design can we still use that other are we still using that other thing that we use to to choose All things? right uh yeah i looked at it and uh, i can make something like that so that the because yeah ultimately we want um the facilitator to be able to pick the cards if nothing else and then also schedule the time for the actual discussion yeah you know and i think all of them for lisiel and the groups here should just split one hour each one hour each mission step and then automatically the next the next discussion is going to be the next mission step yeah and then on your side uh at some point we'll need just like uh you just need to make a five minute video for the lisiel members so that when they you know when it's time to start using this thing you just describe it and explain it real quick yeah and then cool. behind the scenes just just so you can describe to the facilitators or or the team that tells the facilitators just hey this is what you gotta do you know, click on this link and then you can set up the mission. You can pick the three cards and the time and, and each facilitator of the groups can can set that up each week for the discussion. Okay. So I'll build a super simple thing similar to what we had that just allows them to do that. Okay. So if you can maybe type up those seven steps that you said, just that's what I got to sort of sell uh, Lisiella in a sense of if they think that's a good idea, right? So those, okay. like whatever those seven, doesn't really matter what the seven are really to us, but we do want a good seven that makes things easier. And I, I liked what you said, it made sense to me. Yeah, okay. And like, yeah, I just, just the, the start, the setup and the, and the build up are, are just, I just thought, hey, those are, you know, perfect. The first three steps would just be, what does this group want to do, you know? The start is like, hey, we're going to use the technology, blah, blah, blah. And here's a message. And here's my message. And really accomplished not much in the first one, probably. The setup is the second one. Is like, okay, we kind of, let's set up our idea. Oh, no, no, no. I think, you, I think you're jumping ahead because first okay. there'll be like a brainstorm of all the possible ideas. They won't be able to come up with one. First, they brainstorm them all. Yeah. And you go That's to, let's say, a critical analysis and get all the, the ones, rid, rid of the ones that aren't really going to work or something. And well, then, hopefully that's where the support comes in as well. Yeah, yeah. Because then at the end of the chat, they got all these. They've got all these like the ideas at the end of the chat. All the messages that aren't supported just disappear, and you and they've got all the ones that were supported just boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Because I think like the massive mm -hmm. thing is going to be getting agreement on whatever is the thing that's going to happen, right? That's. If all seven were just ain't like the crescendo is the actual we chose it and we we're gonna run with it, that to me would be the crescendo. Everything exactly. else is leading up to that. Yeah. And then, and then once it's made, then this is what we're gonna do as a result of that. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I was thinking as well. 
is that that's the that's the pivot point where they know what they're going to do and then just spend the one hour crescendo mission step on really defining you know exactly what they mean by that goal or that project yeah. or whatever and then the last three steps are okay well how do we do this and build it out build a plan boom yeah and then from then they, they're they're finished the seven mission steps and they can go to our second kind of collaboration organization thing yeah perfect we'll that's, design and, and that's perfect because even if then we followed you know that's what you do with any group right like it, yeah i think we, you know we just want whether they go ahead with it or not i mean i think they will but it, it's that's the main thing of any group coming together right what are we going to do come to an agreement and then start to work on it right so i mean yeah we we ace this one and it's it's a beauty for setting up again like what we're doing is we're going to set up a shared knowledge community these are tools to set up a shared knowledge community now liz cl are in the position of maybe maybe not you know they've got their own thing they're doing but they have pieces that once they get it they may go okay i now we understand what you're doing we you know i think we want to build this thing but what i've noticed right you got to kind of let everyone do their thing and let them come to their own conclusions but they've got to use the tools a bit to go okay i see what this is i see how it fits yeah yeah that's why i think we need to finish it in time for you to sell it for them to think about it maybe test it and then decide okay yeah we're going to use this yeah no like they're they're awesome they really are and when i show them something they're they're open and they're receptive and they're um they they see the use of it and you know i'm i'm honored you know to be, to be sort of part of, of what's happened um because it's very but it but it's like there's other people involved and there's just so much time and so many things to do kind of thing right so like any sort of curator you got to sort of choose carefully which piece is where um but what we can do is whatever pieces they're missing we can create that within again the new paradigm toolkit because that's where everything is and then they can come those other teams can come at different times or places to fill in the pieces they don't have because now they've got some pieces and pieces fit with the other ones so whatever we build essentially is always going to have a market with the people that are already using our work right yeah so i i, I see customers for life right because we're always going to be adding and building and everyone's going to be sort of again i think we're, we're really coming up with a, a new paradigm organization right so yeah yeah and like the the seven mission step discussion thing you know that could be used by any r d department in any company or yeah you know, and, and, I think, and i think like that's like a module right so if we sell a module that's a training course that actually has the whole thing built into it i mean this is a revolution i think in training online you know, it's it's putting together. Uh, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited that that you're uh, back in the game here. Yeah. Sure. Cool. <laughs> yeah. And and you know, and again, I want to follow your initiative and you know uh, collaborate in terms of the design of this and you know keep you excited. Um. So that's cool. Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty much what my three pages we're talking about. <laughs> okay, so everything's approved, and uh, now you got to go do it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I will. Let's see. Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay, I think I can set the time now because I mean, visually, this thing's almost done. I just have to uh, make the chat room stuff work. It's not that hard. Okay. So maybe we could get the people, or you could get the if you can gather say including you and me maybe possibly 12 people up to 12 people okay around that or the more the better okay. um and when then date next week to start when you choose um okay let me take here if that's what I'm saying. um How about your Sunday? My Sunday, what time? Um, I don't know, four o'clock? Maybe. Okay. I'll, uh... Or, 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 sorry, no. Um, going to be a maximum one hour let's do um 
two or two o'clock. We'll strike for two o'clock. See if people can do that. Two o'clock Sunday. <clears throat> okay. Okay, twelve people. And do you want me to? Uh, sit, and we need their pictures, right, ahead of time. Yeah. So I'll, I'll get their pictures by what, Friday or something? Um, yeah, yeah, or just the day before. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's super critical that we have their pictures, but it should be. It I think we want, you know, that's a big part is seeing yourself, right? I think it's the. Uh... Okay, yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, so we gotta go, that's good, we're done. That's fantastic. I'm uh, very pleased, excited. I think this is a huge next step. Yeah, um, so. Awesome. All right. Salute. Have a great weekend.